Hello students. In the last two videos, you learned uh, the rule for multiplying powers with the same base. And you also learned about how to deal with negative numbers when you raise them to a power. In this video, we're going to look at the second index law, which is a shortcut or a fast way to divide powers with the same base. Now, one way to write division is with the fraction bar. So 2 to the 6th over 2 cubed is the same as 2 to the 6th divided 2 cubed. So sometimes we write um, our division as a fraction, and sometime we, sometimes we write it using the division sign. And the, the, the rule's going to be the same for both because those two expressions are the same. Okay, let's do it by expanding. So 2 to the power of 6. I've got to multiply six twos together. One, two, three, four, five. I need one more. And on the bottom, I have three twos. Oops. Shouldn't say three when I'm writing a two. I confuse myself. Two times two times two. Okay, now we need to simplify this. Well, when you studied fractions, um, probably a couple of years ago, you realized or you learned that you can simplify fractions by uh, dividing out common factors. So I can divide out a 2 from top and bottom. I can divide out another factor of 2. I can divide out another factor of 2, leaving me a 1 in the bottom. And anything over 1 is just the number itself. So I'm left with just 2 times 2 times 2 which is 2 to the power of 3. Again, we're asked to simplify, so we don't evaluate that. We leave it as a power. So have a look at that and see if you can see what the shortcut is, or the rule is for dividing powers with the same base. OK, let's try this guy. We'll do it by expanding it out first. So we have to multiply together 7 threes. That's 4, 5, 6, 7, divided by 5 threes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once again, whenever we're multiplying factors in the numerator and denominator, we can divide out common factors, like so. And what I'm left with is just two threes multiplied together, or 3 to the power of 2. Now, based on those two examples, can you figure out how to simplify 5 to the power of 7 divided by 5 to the power of 3 without having to, <coughs> excuse me, without having to write it out in expanded form? Well, what I'll do first, I'll give you a start. I'll put it back into a fractional form because that's what we've been doing. And what do you think the answer to that is? Well, we can think of it as saying, well, three of these fives will divide out three of those fives, leaving just four of them. And the shortcut for that, of course, is going to be just five to the seven minus three. And that leaves four fives multiplied together. So in words, to divide powers that have the same base, we subtract the indices. So let's go ahead and practice that. Now, first off, sorry, before we do that, go to your page where you're writing down your index laws. You should have already written in index law number one. Now just copy out index law number two. And again, put in the worked example. So 3 to the 6 divide 3 squared can be written as a fraction. And in each case, you simplify those by subtracting the indices. So once you have that copied, I uh, stop the video, and then we'll move on to actually applying this. OK, so to divide powers that have the same base, subtract the indices. So in this question, we're asked to simplify the following expressions. That means we're going to leave them as powers. We're not going to turn them into numbers. If you were asked to evaluate 
you would then get the final answer down as a number. Okay, 6 to the 8th divides 6 to the 2nd. Well, that becomes 6 to the 8th subtract 2. Again, you can think of it as I'm um, dividing out two sixes from top and bottom. That leaves six sixes in the numerator, if I'm, if I'm thinking of them as fractions. 5 to the 7th divide 5 squared. Well, that's going to be 5 to the 7 take 2, or 5 to the 5th. And you have a goal, please, at the last two. Okay, with this question, that 17, of course, is raised to the power of 1. So that's going to be 17 to the 10 minus 1, or 17 to the 9th power. And index laws work perfectly well with negative bases. So that's just going to be, in brackets, negative 3 to the 8 minus 4 equals negative 3 to the power of 4. So index law number 2, if the bases are the same, to divide powers, subtract the indices. OK, now here's some more complicated questions. So what I might do is I'll do the middle one, and then I want you guys to have a go at the other two. So here we have um, 2 to the 11th times 5 to the 6th. All of that, brackets mean all of. All of that divided by all of 2 squared times 5 cubed. Now what I suggest you do um, to start with, and later on you don't have to do this step. You can, you can simplify what you're doing and leave this step out. But when we're learning these, sometimes it's useful to, to show more steps. It just makes it more understandable and easier to remember. So first thing I did is I wrote the division as uh, a fraction. Now once again, I've got these are all factors. I've got two factors of, sorry, 11 factors of 2, 6 factors of 5. Here I have two factors of 2 and three factors of 5. So I can use my index laws on that one. That's going to give me 2 to the power of 11 minus 2, and then times 5 to the power of 6 minus 3. And that whole complicated looking expression simplifies to 2 to the power of 9 times 5 to the power of 3. OK, you have a go, please, on your own at the other two questions. Then restart the video once you've done that. OK, welcome back, students. So this one's already written as a fraction. So that's going to be 27 to the 34 take 15 times 12 to the 13 take 8 now 34 take 15 if I take off 10 34 take 10 is 24 take off another 5 is 19 and 13 take 8 is 5. And there's the answer in simplified form. OK, with the last question, let's do this one without writing it as a fraction, just to save time. Because basically what we can see here at this question, 2 to the 11th divided by 2 squared is 2 to the 9th. 5 to the 6th divided by 5 cubed is 5 to the power of 3. And that works as long as we're multiplying, because then we're just canceling out common factors. So in this case, this is going to become 8 to the 7 subtract 2 times 6 to the 10 subtract 9. 
So final form, 7 subtract 2 is 5, 10 subtract 9 is 1. In fact, here's the final form. We don't normally write the power of 1. It's not wrong to do it, but the simplest way to write it is just 6. So that's the best answer. That's probably still correct, but better to write it without writing the power of 1. Okay, doc, so that's index law number 2. So in the next video, I think we're going to be doing index law number 3.